Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning line on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the multiple return statements in a function. So in a tutorial about returning some values from the functions, we were using the return statement to return some values to the calling function. In that tutorial, we were using only one return statement in a function, but actually a function can have multiple return statements. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, we're going to write a function which is going to take our age and uh, you know it's going to return whether we are an adult or not. So, so I'm going to prototype the function. So let's say our function is going to return a boolean value. So I'm going to use bool and uh, I'm going to call that function as check and it's going to take an integer value, you know, our age. All right, you know, after this main function, I'm going to define the function body. So it's going to be bool check and it's going to take an um, integer variable. Let's call it as age. And here we're going to use the if statement. If age greater than or equal to 18, then um, we're going to return true and else return false so here in this okay let's write this return false in the next line okay here and this function check you guys can see two return statements so in a function you can have as many return statements as you want but make sure that in a program flow only one return statement will be executed so in this program logic you guys can see if this age is greater than or equal to 18 you know our value of true will be returned and uh, if that age is less than or equal to 18 you know our value false will be returned so whatever may be the value of this age variable you know only one value is returned so using this return statement we can return only one value so we can't return multiple values but we can use as many return statements in our functions and also if you guys want to return multiple values you can can do that by using the pointers you know which we're gonna learn in some other tutorials all right guys now i'm gonna call this function check in my main function so it's gonna be check and i'm gonna use this check function inside the if check and we need to pass the age let's say 18 and if it returns a true value then we're gonna say you are adult and else we're gonna say you are a kid you know just for the demonstration purpose so i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this so you guys can see since this age is 18 you know which is greater than or equal to 18 this check function return this true value and uh, we got you are adult and if it is less than 18 build and run you know we got you are kid all right so now the important thing is you know you can uh, use as many return statements you want in your function but make sure that only one return statement is executed in a program flow and also using this return statement you can only return only one value so if you guys want to return multiple values then you guys need to use the pointers you know by returning the address of a variable thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at facebook.com learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial